In this video we are going to see ultrasonic testing interview questions and answers. Questions 1. Which article in ASMESEC versus used for UTASMESEC V? Article 4 Ultrasonic Examination Methods for Welds Article 5 Ultrasonic Examination Methods for Materials Questions 2. Basic Principle of UT, Acoustic Impedance Mismatch, is one of the basic principles of ultrasonic inspection. Acoustic impedance is a physical property of a material, which decides how easily ultrasound can travel inside the material. The ability of ultrasound to transfer from one material type to another material type depends on the difference in acoustic impedance between two materials. If the difference is massive, then the sound is reflected. Questions 4. Frequency range and how to select. Most ultrasonic testing is done within 400 kHz to 25 MHz. Contact testing transducers are used with max. Frequency of 10 MHz. Above 10 MHz frequencies are used with immersion testing. For more penetration, low frequency shall be used for detection of small discontinuities, high frequencies shall be used. Questions 5. What is distance amplitude correction DAC? Compensation of gain is a function of time for difference in amplitude of reflections from equal reflectors at different sound travel distances. A distance amplitude correction DAC curve is used to plot the variation in amplitude between reflectors of the same size at varying distances from the transducer. Question 6. What is velocity, speed of ultrasonic waves in specific materials? Steel longitudinal waves. 5920 meter per second steel shear waves. 3250 meters per second. Question 7. What is the minimum size of imperfections that can be detected by ultrasonic waves? In ultrasonic flaw detection, the generally accepted lower limit of detection for a small flaw is one half wavelength. Anything smaller than that will be invisible. Questions 8. What is initial pulse in ultrasonic testing? The pulse applied to exited the transducer. It is the first indication on the screen if the sweep is undelayed. Sometimes called main bang. Questions 9. Explain about temp correction factor Temperature correction factor is used during ultrasonic thickness measurement. A rule of thumb often used is as follows. The apparent thickness reading obtained from steel walls having elevated temperatures is high, too thick, by a factor of about 1% per 55 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Thus, if the instrument was standardized on a piece of similar material at 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and if the reading was obtained with a surface temperature of 460 degrees Celsius, 860 degrees Fahrenheit, the apparent reading should be reduced by 8%. This correction is an average one for many types of steel. Questions 10. How to do calibration for shear wave? Explain use IIWV1 or V2 block and first. Questions 10. How to do calibration for shear wave? Explain use IIWV1 or V2 block and first set radii echoes on CRT, find out index point of probe and finally find true angle of shear wave probe. Questions 11. What is 6 decibels drop technique? The 6 decibels technique use the reduction in the signal amplitude from the flaw as the probe passes over the edge of the flaw as an indicator of flaw dimensions. A probe is swept from left to right. When the edge of the beam encounters the indication, a signal appears on the A scan. When the beam is completely over the indication, the echo is at its maximum amplitude. Questions 12. What is sensitivity and resolution in ultrasonic testing? Sensitivity and resolution are two terms that are often used in ultrasonic inspection to describe a technique's ability to locate flaws. Sensitivity is the ability to locate small discontinuities. Sensitivity generally increases with higher frequency. Resolution is the ability of system to separate different flaws. Resolution increases with decreasing frequency, for same thickness. 
Questions 13. What is near field in ultrasonic testing? The near field is the region close to the transducer where the sound pressure goes through a series of maximums and minimums, and it ends at the last on-axis maximum at distance n from the face. Near field distance n represents the natural focus of the transducer. Near zone is the zone where the sound wave pressures at each point is not uniform. Questions 14. What is phased array ultrasonic testing? Phased array is an ultrasonic testing technique that uses specialized multi-element array transducers and pulses those elements separately in a pattern sequence called phasing. This phasing sequence allows wave steering, focusing, and scanning. This is all performed electronically. Questions 15. What is full skip distance in UT? Full skip is the distance traveled when the angle beam has traveled down then up. T equals 2D tane. Question 16. What is DGS in ultrasonic testing? DGS, distance gain size, is a method of setting, sensitivity or assessing the signal from an unknown reflector based on the theoretical response of a flat-bottomed hole reflector perpendicular to the beam axis. Question 17. What is dead zone in UT? Dead zone, in ultrasonic testing, the interval following the initial pulse where the transducer ring down prevents detection or interpretation of reflected energy. So simply the dead zone corresponds to the time duration on the screen occupied by the initial pulse. It can thus be easily measured.